microbial consortia called enrichable microorganism Hariali EM.1 this is the master set of microbes. So the microbes can be of two category aerobic and anaerobic. This EM Hariali is this is the source culture. This is the only commercial culture available with love both the types of microbes that is aerobic and anaerobic microbes in a single consortia. We should not use pit based composting which is anaerobic, we should use heap type composting which is aerobic. What the microbes will do? The moment they get abundant food, they activate themselves and they start reproducing. From the source EM, now I will going to demonstrate to you how to prepare activated EM, AEM. The anaerobic microbes when get contacted with the oxygen, they start dying. For 1 litre of AEM, I can do different types of dilution. 1 is to 20, 1 is to 40, 1 is to 50, I can dilute it. Hello friends, so welcome to Vivara Vahini English channel. Friends today, I am Achar Manjuna. Today we are discussing a microbial consortia called Enrichable Microorganism Hariali EM.1 Hariali. Friends, this EM1 is a consortia of microbes. It has got two categories of microbes that is aerobic microbes that means which sustains by breathing oxygen, anaerobic microbes which will avoid using oxygen. So the microbes can be of two category aerobic and anaerobic. This is the only commercial culture available with love both the types of microbes that is aerobic and anaerobic microbes in a single consortia. What is consortia? Mixing two or more types of microbes in a single liquid. This Arabic and anaerobic microbes which are mixed together in a consortia and this EM1 seems to set to have about 8 to 82 types of individual microbial species. Means to say that this is the master set of microbes. With my study and searching from the last 7, 8 years, I found this is the only microbial culture consortia available with as many 82 numbers of species of microbes. So broadly we classify the microbes into Arabic and anaerobic. Now this EM is used for different applications because it is a combination of Arabic and anaerobic. What it does? It can be used to treat wastewater, sewage treatment plant, STP we call it as. On the wastewater, you have lot of harmful bacteria available on the water. This EM solution, the anaerobic bacteria which are there in this EM will go into consume, eat, survive by eating those harmful bacteria on the wastewater and thereby make the wastewater portable, usable. One of the application of EM1 is called water treatment or STP. That product of EM is called EM Aquamatic. You can find all the things on the website. EM Aquamatic is the solution which is used for water treatment. There is another set of EM liquid which is called EM Pashu Amrut. This as the name says EM Pashu Amrut is being used in the dairy farming. In the dairy farm, there are scenarios where these bacteria, harmful bacteria can develop and spoil the health of your animals. For example, your cow mat, beneath the cow mat, your microbes, the harmful bacteria can develop or in your storage area where you store dangs, the urine, etc., their harmful bacteria will grow up. Even on the shoes, the palm of the cow will have these harmful bacteria being developed. So in the dairy industry, people use EM Pashu Amrut to spray on the cow mat, on the shoes of the cows or on the corners of the dairy farm or in the paddock area such that the harmful bacteria will not affect or will maintain hygiene, cleanliness in your dairy farm. That product of EM is called EM Pashu Amrut. Today as an organic farmer looking for microbial density and diversity in my basin of a plant, I am not considering either EM Pashu Amrut or EM Aquamatic. My focus is on EM Hariali. 
EM Hariali is the main product which is which is got all kind of bacteria and the procedures have been explained this EM Hariali needs to be used for our agriculture and horticultural requirements. What this EM Hariali will do? What it consists of which I already told you set of Arabic and anaerobic microbes. It is meant for farming agriculture organic agriculture. So, we use this EM Hariali this comes with a liter of bottle 1 liter this EM Hariali is this is the source culture. Now for our plants for our organic farming we only need aerobic microbes we do not need anaerobic microbes anaerobic microbes are mainly used for as I said for water treatment or maintaining hygiene in dairy farm and also to use what is called pit based composting. If you make a pit put all your raw material there and then introduce this EM uh, Hariali with an anaerobic bacteria then the decomposition will happen. As we learn understand from Dr. V. P. Agadesar also when we want to make compost with various raw material available in our farm we should not use pit based composting which is anaerobic we should use heap type composting which is aerobic. Hence <coughs> we will be using aerobic microbes present in EM Hariali not the anaerobic. Then how do I segregate which are it is a consortia there are arabic as well as anaerobic microbes in this. But for my agriculture use I do not need anaerobic I only need aerobic. So, how do I achieve that for that there is a procedure process that we call it as activating enrichable microorganism AEM from the source EEM. Now, I will going to demonstrate to you how to prepare activated EEM AEM. Friends the procedure is very simple I have brought in a barrel or a drum or a storage with a proper lid. Now, this can close and make the liquid inside completely airtight. So, what we have done we choose in this barrel with a the cap then to this drum I have put about 20 liters of water and 1 kg of jaggery and with a wooden stick now we have rotated it firmly such that the jaggery liquid is prepared. Now, this 20 liters of jaggery liquid is being used to activate microbes in this source culture called EM Hariali. Now, I will going to pour this 1 liter of EM Hariali source culture into a 20 liters of jaggery liquid. As you know for any microbes to be activated it requires food the best part of the food for microbes is jaggery liquid. We can use other sources also, but what is most commonly used is jaggery liquid. Friends, now I have poured 1 liter of EM Hariali source culture into 20 liters of jaggery liquid. Now, I will tell you do's and does not what we are supposed to do, what we are not supposed to do. Now, <coughs> I have put the source culture jaggery, I am not supposed to use a stick and rotate it we should not disturb the disturb the concentration with this jaggery if required you can do a shaking like this one or two times enough. So, now that will going to mix my source EM will going to use the jaggery liquid the microbes which were there on the source EM start developing duplicating because now they are getting food. What the microbes will do the moment they get abundant food they activate themselves and they start reproducing. Now, what are the microbes I have? I have two types of microbes in my source culture EM1 Hariali. One is aerobic microbes, other one is anaerobic microbes. My objective is to retain aerobic microbes for my agriculture application, suppress anaerobic application, anaerobic microbes which are there in this culture. How do I suppress or segregate anaerobic microbes? What I do? Let this 20 liters of jaggery solution being used to develop only anaerobic microbes in the first phase that is 48 hours 2 days. For that what I have to do I have to use this lid and close this drum in such a way the air should not enter inside this. So, by doing this I am blocking the air inside no oxygen goes inside 
my aerobic microbes will still on the dormant status my anaerobic microbes which are there in the source culture start eating the jaggery liquid and start multiplying themselves because of the jaggery there is a fermentation some acid will be released some gaseous elements will be released what we need to do after 24 hours say we just have to slowly open this slightly and close it for a 5 to 8 seconds just open the lid and close it such that the gas liquid will goes out no oxygen enter inside maintain this for 2 days 48 hours by end of 48 hours this em will be activated with full of anaerobic microbes being populated aerobic microbes will be still sleeping now let us fast forward friends assume today is the day 2 from this activity that is 2 days from now on that day i will come back again what i do i just open this lid now i can see my em culture being developed with maximum concentration of anaerobic microbes and the aerobic microbes still sleeping what i do i remove this i will not do any kind of you know rotating this etc sterilizing etc if required i just do like this then i will take away this lid permanently i will use shade net we have a shade net no green color shade net transparent shade net just assume this is my shade net this is not exactly the shade net so what i do after two days i'll just cover this with a shade net why put the shade net because i want aeration to happen and the insects like home flies and mosquitoes should not go inside and lay their eggs it can happen anywhere so i will not do that that's the reason i put this after two days i will put a shade net like this and close it off and i create aeration what will happen now i have created the aeration that means the aerobic microbes start breathing oxygen and they know this time for me to grow they start duplicating the moment the aeration happens to this liquid the anaerobic microbes founds difficult for them to survive because they don't like oxygen what they do they start dying now after two days when i open this with a closed with the shade net cover my aerobic has aerobic microbe microbes has to grow now do i need to add food for that again shall i put another 1 kg of jaggery liquid into this no we don't have to put any food for this microbes then what will happen the anaerobic microbes when get contacted with the oxygen they start dying because we don't want anaerobic microbes to go to our agriculture land so they will die once they die the aerobic microbes which are activated now because of aeration they start eating this anaerobic microbes and they start multiplying so point to remember you need to add jaggery only at the time of creating anaerobic activity after two days no food is required they balance themselves two days from then that is four days from now this liquid is full of aerobic microbes 20 liters this i call it as aem activated enrichable microorganism this 20 liters is my culture which i have developed from 1 liter source culture this aem is something which we would like to use in our agriculture farming this 20 liter ka culture you can preserve it for 30 days without doing anything that's just keeping a transparent cover if you want to keep this aem culture beyond 20 days or 30 days just drop half a kg of jaggery keep it for another one month keep it for another two months like that you can keep on adding jaggery to this uh, extend the life of your aem but i don't want to keep the aem activated like this i want to use it for my agriculture purposes what i do i take this activated aem that is aem for 1 liter of aem i can do different types of dilution 1 is to 20 1 is to 40 1 is to 50 i can dilute it depends on where i have to add this microbes into my soil for coconut trees areca trees mango trees jamun trees which are large canopy which are 8 years 10 years old you do 1 is to 20 1 liter of activated em and 20 liters of water dilute it and put it to your mature trees for small plants herbs shrubs and your smaller coconut and areca etc you go with 1 is to 40 1 liter of aem 40 liters of water for field crops when we when we seed maize potato ragi 
or millets in our field crops lands there also we have to add microbes for that it will go for 1 is to 50 matlab 20 liters of aem which has come from 1 liter of source culture can dilute to 1000 liters that is 1 is to 50 i take the 1000 liters of diluted aem and start drenching the my entire maize line my millets growing line my you know turdal growing line so i can use it for field crops i can use it for vegetables i can use it for nursery plants i can use it for my yielding coconut tree and araca tree or a mango tree these are all the benefits of aem so i will come back again in the next episode when this this aem is ready and share much of the applications these documents are available on the google you can download it you can read it we are going to prepare some exclusive contents for some specific field applications that documentation all will be shared with you accordingly friends aem is the master microbial set i come across there is no second match to em for agriculture em hariyali let us use this em enrich the basin of our soil with diversity and density of microbes you have any questions about buying do, do, activating using em hariyali please do get in touch with us you can call me anytime hereby your hr manjunath signing off from this episode of em please do get in touch with us thank you very much have a nice evening